Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the module 2 of MC Super Important Questions and these are from the previous papers, the most repeated ones, don't miss any of them and before starting please like and subscribe, it helps me go notice like this and if you have any questions you can DM me on Instagram here. Without wasting more time, let's get started. The first question is explain the following with example. Okay, so in the module 2 we have some code words which we need to know and these are the ones which have repeated in the previous papers. So the first one is CMN which is compare negative. Okay, so if you write CMN R1, R2, what does that mean is we will be comparing R1 and R2. Okay, and it sets the flags by adding them. R1 plus R2 as it was uh, computed. Now if we uh, compare these two and it is negative, it, that time it will be set as true else it will be set as false. Okay. Next is MLA which is multiply accumulate. It multiplies two registers and uh, adds a third one. Okay. Multiply plus accumulate it is. Okay. So here what we do if it is written MLA R0, R1, R2, R3. So what we do is R0 is equal to R1 into R2 plus R3. Okay. That is the thing which is getting assigned in R0. Third one is MRS which is move PSR to register. Program status register to another register will move. Transfer the status flags or CPSR or SPSR to a general purpose register. So if you want to uh, store this into a general register, the current program status register will be using MRS. So if you write MRS R0 CPSR, the current uh, program status register will be transferred to R0. Next is bit clear. Bit clear means for example if I have 0, 1, 0 and if I want to clear this bit. So I will be performing an operation BIC and I will be making this as 1. So wherever I have 1, that place it will be, be made as 0. Okay, like that. So this will be discussing in a separate question. Okay. Next is LDR. LDR means load register from the memory. Okay, from the memory we are uh, loading the value into the register. So LDR, RD and RN. RN is the uh, address and from that address what is stored that you have to load in RD. Okay, so if you write LDR R0 uh, and in bracket R1, load the value at the address in R1 into R0. MOV means move. Move the uh, operand which is 10 into RD. Uh, okay, like that we'll be writing R0 and 10 here. So 10 will be moved to R0. RSB means reverse subtract. If you write it in this form, RSB, R0, R1 and 20. 20 minus R1 will be stored in R0. I repeat, 20 minus R1 will be stored in R0. It is reverse subtract. Okay. Next is add. Add means we are just adding these two values and storing it in RD. Okay, so R0 will be equal to R1 plus R2 if the command is add R0, R1, R2. Okay. Moving on to the next point on question which is explain the swap instruction with example. Swap means what? For example, if I have A is equal to 10 and B is equal to 20, after the swap B will become 20 and A will become 10, right? That is called a swap. So swap instruction is a special case of load store instruction. It swaps the content of memory with the contents in a register, but it is not so straightforward. Okay, so this is the syntax and if we have a look at the uh, instruction. So here what happens is the memory. Okay, memory it is stored 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And in R0 we have 0. In R1 we have 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 2. Okay. And in R2 we have 0x900 which is pointing to this address. Now when we do the swap R0, R1, R2 what happens is this value which is there that will be stored in a register. Okay. This will be stored in R0 register. Whichever we register we specify here that value will be stored from here to here. Okay. And what will be stored in R2? What was there in R1? Okay, like that it is. It will go here and this will come here. So in R1, what was stored? 1112. So 1112 will be stored in this memory address. So here after the uh, swapping, here we'll have in this address 1112 and in R0, we have 1356 which was initially in the memory. Okay, this is how the swap instruction works. Moving on to the third point question, we have explained branch instruction flow in ARM with suitable diagram demonstrate branch instruction flow execution with an example program. Now branch means what? For example, if I'm going in the program like this and if you want to again repeat the following code from this part. So what I will do, I'll assign a point here so that from here it will go to this point and start again from here. Okay, that is called as a branch. A branch instruction changes the flow of execution or is used to call a routine. Routine means function. This type of instruction allows program to have subroutines if then else structures and loops. Okay, so this is the syntax for it will be using basically a label which will be pointed to the program counter because where the program counter is pointed to from there we will start the program let's discuss two examples if we have to use the branch have to write the capital word b and after that uh, the name of the branch here the forward is the name of the branch so here add operation happened add operation happened another add operation happened after that i've written forward forward means after this point it will again come here and start the execution from here it will not do this one okay that is the branch okay after that we have the backward this is another example in backward when we do here doing these three operations after that b backward is written means branch back to backward so it will come here yeah it will branch here and the execution will start again from here so it is like a loop got the point so this is the branch instructions 
नेक्स्ट पॉइंट मोड क्वेश्चन इज एक्सप्लेन सिंगल लोड स्टोर एड्रेसिंग मोड सिंटेक्स टेबल एंड इंडेक्स मोड विद एग्जांपल लोड एंड स्टोर मींस व्हाट लोडिंग मींस वी आर स्टोरिंग इनटू द वी आर लोडिंग द वैल्यूज इनटू द रजिस्टर एंड स्टोरिंग मींस वी आर स्टोरिंग इनटू द मेमोरी ओके नाउ टू परफॉर्म दिस टू टुगेदर वी विल बी यूजिंग सम इंडेक्सिंग मोड्स लाइक प्री इंडेक्स विद राइट बैक प्री इंडेक्स एंड पोस्ट इंडेक्स ओके दिस आर जस्ट रिलेटेड टू व्हाट इंडेक्स वी आर गोइंग टू i mean what address we are going to consider okay so let's discuss in the example pre index with write back the first type calculates an address from the base register plus an address offset and then updates that address base register with a new address so finally after calculating the address it then updates the address base register okay this is the key point here in pre index it will do the same thing with the write back but does not update the base address okay here the base address is not updated here the base address is updated now what is post index then post index uses updates the base register after the address is used here it is happening before the address is used that's why it is pre here it is happening after so it is the post index okay so <clears throat> let's discuss an example r0 is 0 r1 is 9000 and the memory which is pointed by r1 is having 1010 and memory pointed by uh, 9004 is having 0202 now if we write load into the register r0 the value r1 and four places from r1 Four places from R1 means what? This is R1. Four places from R1 means this will become four. Nine thousand four means zero 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 two. That should be loaded in R0. So in R0 we'll be having this. Okay, this value. That is related to the pre-indexing with write back. Okay. Next is pre-indexing, not with write back. Okay. If you don't do the write back, the operation will still be same. But R1 in this case will not have the write back, so it will be still nine thousand only. Although we took this from nine thousand four, but still it is having nine thousand only. In the previous case, this became uh, the value which is um, what is this value? This value is nine thousand four, which means it is updated. We have taken this from nine thousand four, and the address is also updated. But here we have taken from nine thousand four, but the address is not updated. That is that is the meaning without write back. Okay. Next one is post indexing. Post indexing means after we perform the operation, then update the value. So after we perform the operation means we have to not consider what is there in nine thousand. First we have to update. After we update, it will become nine thousand four, and from here we will be taking this value. Okay, that is the uh, case which we are do doing till now. But in this case we have to first update the register and then use the value. So the value which will be there initially is zero one zero one, and then when we update the register, it will become nine thousand four. Okay, so this is the post indexing. Moving on to the next one, we have multiple register transfer in ARM. Okay, multiple register transfer means uh, the previous case we uh, observed that one register value was getting transferred and storing another register. If you want to transfer multiple registers together uh, with the address range we specify, it will happen. That is the multiple register transfer, and this is the syntax for it. Now there are four modes here also: the index, uh, increment after increment before, decrement after decrement before, and the these four are used. For uh, specifying where to start and where to end the address. Okay, so if we take an example here, in the zero eight thousand eighteen we have zero zero three, in the fourteen we have zero zero two, and in the ten we have zero zero one. Now R not is pointing to ten, R one, R two, and R three are zero. Now what we do? LDMI. LDMI means load multiple into the register increment after. Increment after means first take the value, then increment the uh, address. So first, if we take the value, what is the value pointed here? Eight zero zero one zero. And if we take that value, that is zero zero x zero one. So zero x zero one will be stored here. After that, it will be incremented. When it increments, the next position is this one. So it has zero zero two. That zero zero two will be Are taken here. After that, we increment and then we take the, take the value, so it will become zero zero three here. So here, first increment is happening, and then we are taking the value. So if it was the other one, which is the increment before, if it was increment before, means first we will take the value, then we will increment. So if we initially take the value, in that case we will get this, but then we will increment, and R two will also have that value, right? So that is what uh, the separation is: increment after or increment before. So based on whether we increment after or before, whether this is to be Used or this is to be used. That is decided. Increment after means this will be used. Increment before means this will be used. First will increment and then the value is used. Okay, that's the difference. The last question is explain uh, different logical instructions uh, in the ARM processor with example. Now logical instruction means we will be performing the AND OR operations. Okay, basically AND and OR operations. These are the syntaxes for it. Now let's take an example for OR. So if R not is zero and R one is the even numbers and R two is the odd numbers. So if we do the OR operation, zero zero one means we'll get one. Zero two zero means we'll get two. So like that we'll get one two three four five six seven eight. So that is what it is written here. Okay, that is the logical OR operation. 
similarly we have the bit clear operation as i told you bit clear means what wherever we want to clear the bit okay that will clear so let's take an example r1 is having 0b which denotes its binary and 1111 in r2 we have 0b 0101 now if i write b i c r not r1 r2 okay so in r not what value should be stored the bit clearance of r1 done by r2 okay r2 will clear r1 so r2 will clear r1 means where all you can find one i can find the second and the fourth position so second and the fourth position the bit should be cleared in r1 so second and fourth position means this position one should be cleared this position one should be cleared when i say one should be cleared it means that it should become zero okay clear means make it zero so it will be one zero one zero so that will be stored here 0b1010 okay that's all for this video and if you want this video helpful please like and subscribe it helps make more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one